on the flip side, if you're a Rams fan, you got to be feeling absolutely horrible about the way things are trending. Um, I think I just got a, I got a notification before before we started, and it just looks like they're going to just have so many guys injured for the next handful of weeks. I mean, their current injuries right now are Cooper Cup, Puka Nakua, both on the IR, Tyler Higby. Three offensive tackles, two guards, a defensive lineman, two corners, and a safety all on the IR. I mean, if if Matt Stafford and Sean McVay can somehow keep this team afloat until they get a little bit healthier, I would be shocked. I mean, I think they're I think McVay, and we said this uh, during the offseason, is a phenomenal head coach. We both really like Matt Stafford, but I don't know. Sometimes there's just too many injuries and too many things to overcome in a season. And having that many guys injured to start off is, is really tough. I mean, you, you were really high on the Rams coming in the season. I wasn't at all. If we've rewatched the, the Rams video and everything that I said, people were literally in the comments being like, well, whenever they win 13 games, I'll be back in, in this comment feed to see how, tell you guys how goofy you are. Uh, I called it out in the beginning of the season. The Rams are an absolute house of cards. Their defense, even without the injuries, looked bad. Um, I don't think that they have a good defense, but now that they have these injuries stacking up, it doesn't make things any better. Um, and then from an offensive perspective, I think their offense could have been fun, but ultimately, like, you got to stay healthy. I mean, there's really not much more to it than that. But we called it from – well, I, I don't know. you. I think you were a little bit on against the Rams with me at the end. I can't remember. But – um. I think it, I was at the point where it's very hard for me to bet against a healthy Rams team with McVay and Matt Stafford. I can't sit here and justify my stance on that anymore. I mean, they had, I just rattled off the names of guys that they have injured. Their two starting wide receivers are both down. They're missing 12 offensive linemen. Like there's only so much you can do. Next man up. Point. Next You're right. Out. You're right. You're right. No, but How, but <laughs> essentially my main point was I think the Rams are a house of cards. They don't have depth. Yeah. They're very surface level. Um, but yeah, you lose your top guys, and that obviously becomes more of a problem. But I'm not shocked over the, the Rams situation currently. I think if you look at their schedule, even with a fully healthy team, I think that there's a, still a real argument to be made that they still start the season 0 and 2. Um, but regardless, that's where they're at right now with a, a slew of injuries. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't really see it getting any better these next few weeks. So white clouds blowing out when we max four five, not the size, but it kick up, kick up, highlight of my life, man. Attract.